this video, I'm going to teach you how to figure out the chords to a song. Before we get started, please hit that red subscription button. I post new lesson videos about one a week, so I think you'll be interested in some of the other things that I teach. I often get asked by beginners how they figure out the chords to a song, and there are several easy ways to do it. A lot of songs start with a major chord, so we're just going to start with a G here. Now what I want you to do is to write out the alphabet starting with the G. Now in music we only go from A to G, so G is already at the end. So you would write down G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Alright? Now you want to focus on the first, the fourth, and the fifth. So the first is the G chord, of course. The fourth step is the C. And the fifth step is a D. Many songs in folk, country, pop are one, four, and five. Sometimes in that order, not always. For instance, uh, if I was going to do Brown Eyed Girl. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came. Look at that, one, four, and five. But not in that order. It, it starts with one, it goes to four, back to one, and then to five. So we're going to address when to change chords in uh, just a minute. But just know that's one, four, five. Now occasionally a song will have an occasional minor, and that would be the second, the third, or the sixth step in that little um, row of uh, letters that you just wrote out. So that would be E minor, A minor, or B minor for this particular key that we're in. And I happen to know that uh, Brown Eyed Girl does have an E minor in one spot. How do you know when that comes up? Well, let me give you another example. Left a good job in the city Working for the man every night and day But I never saw the good side of the city Till I hitched a ride on a riverboat plane Big wheel, keep on turning Brown Mary, keep on burning Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river So I started with a C, meaning it was probably in the key of C. Now that's not always true, but for most songs, uh, the chord that you start with is the key that you're in. There are exceptions, but that is common. So it's a good place to start if you're figuring out the chords on your own. Now, <clears throat> I stayed on that C a very long time because I was just repeating the same notes and it still fit with the C chord. Left a good job in the city. See how that fits? Working for the man every night and day. But I never saw the good side of the city till I hitched a ride on a riverboat queen. Big wheels. Uh oh, that doesn't fit. Big wheels. So, first, what I'm going to do is try the one, four, and five. In the key of C, that would be C, F, or G. Big wheels. Ooh, that's clearly not right. Big wheels. Ah. Voila. Big wheels keep on turning. Brown Mary keeps on. Ooh, that's not right. So what else can I try? Brown Mary keep on burning. That kind of works. But what really sounds better is the minor chord. So if I thought, well, maybe I could get away with F, but let me try one of the minor chords. Big wheel keep on burning. And then back to the C. So, another way to know when to change chords is to look at the number of measures. For a lot of songs, you're going to get through a full measure, or maybe two measures, or maybe three measures before you change chords. Well, Jamie, how do I know what the measure is? If you have a nice, steady strum pattern, that will give you a clue. Now, I was just playing down, down, up, down, down, up for that song. Down, down, up, down, down, up. That's one measure. All right? So nowhere in this song am I going to change in the middle of that measure. Down, down, down. No, that never happens. In a few songs you will hear something like that. But for our purposes and for figuring out a song, try to stay on one measure or maybe two measures. Occasionally you'll run into a half a measure, which for this strum pattern would just be down, down, up, and then you change. 
<laughs> and sometimes you can hear that. So go to 145 first, then try the minors. Sing it and play it. If you're singing it and what you're singing doesn't seem to fit in the chord, then try 1-4 or 5. If that doesn't work, then try one of the minor chords. Now, those of you who are probably wondering, well, what about that seventh step? Well, the seventh step is a diminished chord, and generally you only hear those in jazz or maybe as a passing chord in other genres. So for our purposes here, we're not going to pay too much attention to the diminished chord. Another way that you can figure out the chords is to watch the artist playing it. And I don't mean, you know, Joe Schmo, the guitar teacher down the street. I mean, go to YouTube and find the original artist playing it. Look for the person playing the rhythm guitar. In country music, that's usually the star singing it, but in other bands, you know, it could be anybody. Um, don't look for the person playing that hot solo. That's not going to give you a whole lot of clues as to what chords you're playing. If you look for the person actually playing the chords, you might recognize the chord shapes. Okay? Same thing for any jam that you go to. You know, find that guitar player who seems to know what they're doing and follow their fingers. And sometimes you can get the, the song from that. I've been to uh, a lot of bluegrass jams. A lot of bluegrass jams are one, four, five. And once you get that, you can play a lot of the songs, which is great and you can just blend right in. Uh, speaking of YouTube, there's another very cool feature there. You can click on settings and then within settings it gives you the option to slow down the song. So uh, click on playback speed and you can click on like half speed and sometimes if the chords aren't coming at you quite so fast it's a little easier to figure out. Uh, another tool is a capo. So if you're playing along and it's just slightly off, you're like, man, that is not quite the key, especially if you're trying to play in the same key as the original artist, then use a capo. Oh, I don't have my capo here, but you know, put it on different frets and that will help you change the key. If you want to know more about capos, I address that in uh, another video. You can also, of course, go to tab sites and there's a million of them up there, but remember that you know, anybody can upload words and chords. And I've found some very interesting arrangements of songs on various tab sites. However, um, they have been helpful because at least it gives you a place to start. And sometimes they'll just be let one chord that's wrong. And that way you don't have to figure out the rest of the chords if you don't want to. So there you go. There's how to figure out the chords to a song. If you want Skype lessons from me, you can go to jamieanderson.com and there is a uh, form that you can fill out to email me. Um, also, subscribe. There's that red button in the corner. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.